Hey, hey, it's Raven Renee, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I create my designs in Canva for my Printify pop-up shop. I've been using Canva since college, so back in 2018. I am currently using the pro version of Canva. I think it's like $13.99 or $14.99 a month, but if it is within your budget, I highly recommend getting and upgrading the pro version. The free and basic version is nice too, but there are some templates and designs that you can only get with the pro version. So again, if it's within your budget, I highly recommend getting it. All right, let's hop into it. All right, so we're gonna be heading over to Canva. To create my patterns, I use the dimensions 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. And after getting our blank canvas, it is time to choose our graphics. For this design, I'm gonna be using dinosaurs. And for my designs, I like to make sure that I'm choosing pictures that kind of are within the same realm and have the same sort of texture. To me, it just doesn't make sense to use these soft pastel colors and then, you know, input that giant T-Rex head that looks completely different. Now I just start resizing and placing the graphics all over the page so then I can get a good look at them. Don't be afraid to play around with your designs, delete things, change colors, add things. When it comes to creation, there are endless possibilities. After I figure out the colors for the most part, I start duplicating the graphics and flipping them while also making sure I place them in good spots. The most important part about creating patterns is that all four of your sides have at least one graphic that lines up with the edge. So you'll see this dinosaur at the bottom, that pink line, that's aligned. This one at the left, you'll see that line, it's aligned now, and then the top, you'll see it again. You might have to play around with this a little bit until you see that line. There's really no rhyme or reason on where I'm placing my patterns. The one thing I do make sure is to try and keep duplicate graphics away from each other. Once you have your pattern complete, you want to go ahead and highlight your whole picture and group your graphics together. Then you want to move your grouped picture into quadrants. So I start with the left and I align it vertically and horizontally until I see that cross. I then duplicate it and make sure that the left corner of the picture is aligned at the bottom right quadrant. The same with the top right quadrant, I duplicate, shift it up and then duplicate and bring it down to that last corner and making sure that there is a cross. And then I'll go ahead and ungroup these photos so that I can shift some items around. You might have to play around with this a little as well, but make sure that you are not touching these outer edges that are cut off. You do not want to touch these and move them around because it will destroy your pattern. As you can see, this dinosaur ended up next to the other green one, so I am just replacing it with the blue one. We're all done with this pattern, so what I'm gonna do is download it. I like to download this as a PNG file and move the size all the way up with a transparent background. This ensures that you are getting the best quality for your picture. If you wanna check in Canva if your design actually makes a pattern, what you wanna do is upload that design into Canva and then put it into quadrants again until you see those crosses and start duplicating. And you can see that mine was successful and it made a pattern. Once I know my pattern is seamless, I head over to my Printify shop and create a product. 
In this case, I am using the Velveteen plush blanket and I click start designing. I want all the size variants, so I'm gonna be choosing those and then uploading my design into the blank canvas. Ignore my camera roll, y'all. <laughs> Once I have my design uploaded, I like to shrink it down to get a really good high resolution. And then I like to center it on the page. You don't have to. Um, and then I go down to create pattern. And this should be seamless if you checked it in Canva. Make sure to always hit preview to see what your design actually looks like because there are times where I thought my pattern was seamless or I thought it looked good. And then on the actual product, it was messed up or it just didn't look right. The reason I like to download my file as transparent is so that I can easily change the background color in Printify if I want to and make different designs. If you know the hex code, you can go on and type it in there. I use Canva to play around with those colors and I'm just gonna keep it white because those other colors were absolutely horrid. And we did it. We have our seamless pattern in Canva. And that's how I create my designs in Canva for my Printify pop-up shop. Let me know if there's any other videos you guys want me to create. I'm always down for feedback and critique and suggestions. My channel for right now is more lifestyle and just random things, um, just showcasing my life. So, you know, I have some hair videos, I've got like skincare stuff and, you know, mental health things, and now my Printify pop-up shop. I don't really have a specific niche, and so I'm always down to just do whatever and give you guys updates on my life and what I'm doing. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to see more of me. I hope you guys have a beautiful week and that you learn something new. <laughs> Bye.